What's up, YouTube? For tonight's battle, I got some live stream coverage from last night. Thank you to everyone that actually rocked up. We had a good 400-ish people. Now, uh, question of the day. We'll do like a quite an easy one. Just name one Pokemon you'd like me to actually use and maybe a little set with it. Um, I'll try and incorporate one of these Pokemon uh, in my next team coming up. I will pick one uh, through this. So just you can put as many as you like. Uh, I don't mind. But I will definitely pick one from someone's suggestion because uh, I like doing that and I like your feedback. Let's get to this battle anyway. So this is probably the best single battle that I had last night. So I thought I'd put this one up. It was quite good. And good mix of pokes too. Uh, okay, so once again, this is with my uh, new team as well. So I'm really sort of... Yeah, I'm really scraping the bottom with some of these Pokemon, but um, what the hell, they were fun to use. Okay, uh, I just went for Swanna as a lead because I thought Steelix may uh, be the lead, just setting up Stealth Rocks and um, like Dragon Tailing out, so I thought Swanna would be a nice sort of uh, like lead here. Okay, so Militech's just going to come in on my Scald, which was sort of bad because I actually burnt uh, the Militech with Scald and that's going to sort of activate its uh, Marvel Scale. So that sucked. Um, I thought, well, it can't, it's not going to be able to one-shot me, but it's probably just going to go for, like, uh, probably just Ice Beam or get any sort of, like, damage on uh, my spawner. So I just thought, well, let's just go straight for Hurricane and get some damage on that and maybe um, hit pretty decently and, and actually Life Orb as well. So that's pretty good damage, and with that burn next round, I was quite confident that I could, like, take it out. Uh, so Ice Beam, as I thought, does pretty good damage to me. I was just hoping that uh, I didn't miss with this next uh, Hurricane because I knew Militech would definitely go for a cover. Then in turn, finished me off with the Ice Cream. So I do hit with the Hurricane, which is awesome, and that is going to take Militech out. So a nice uh, early start for me getting rid of that thing. Uh, so bloody bulky, uh, hard to take down as well. Okay, um, out comes Earth Cream. Did I say Earth Cream? Um, I just going to just pop it out there because I'm pretty certain this is going to go for Protect and going to be that uh, toxic. Uh, quick feet set. Um, I was betting on it not being like a gut set. So I thought uh, I'd just swap in my defensive wall and see sort of how it would go. So I'm using a Swirlix here as a defensive wall. It actually works pretty well. Uh, it's just a pure wall cleric support. That's pretty much all it is, and it works bloody well actually. Okay, um, so I thought, well, let's see how I take this facade, and I take it really bloody well actually. So I just threw the wish up there in case it did some like, really awful damage to me. Uh, but I can see the side of the 3-hit KO um, there, which is uh, pretty good. Um, so I could easily go just for a Protect here or just sort of wait and see, get some more toxic damage, but um, obviously they're going to swap out because they consider that's when he's not going to be able to uh, take me out in two hits now before I can get a wish back. So uh, Stilix is probably going to set up Stealth Rocks on me. I can't really touch this thing at all. Um, so I thought, well, let's bring in Swanner because... I know they're going to Stealth Rock on the swap, so at least I don't swap into the Stealth Rocks afterwards. Um, here I could just go for Scold or I could go for Hurricane because I sort of was thinking, well, they might swap. But I thought I'd go for Scold because I might be able to get a burn and such, and that's pretty handy uh, since that Miltic's gone out of the way and you know, something else can swap into it. It was a set dial, so I didn't get the burn, but I did some nice damage. If I went for Hurricane, that would have been dead, but I didn't really want to risk that case of sort of stayed in, thinking that I'd do that. Um, okay, so you defeat us here. Uh, I sort of I knew that Swanner would die to Stealth Rocks, but I just sort of wanted to save it um, for a, like a swap in for something else. And like, just fodder. I quite like doing that rather than just burn it to set up. And, um, okay, so this is a Life Orb set dial. Um, I just went for Psychic here, which is pretty good because I can just take that out as well. And I like Dujun because it's got the same special attack as it's. Um, evolution above it, which is cool. It's not like such a real off the thing there. Okay, uh, in comes Slumpar. So I just went straight for a cover here. I knew Steelix is really, really slow. But then again, I'm quite slow as well, so we are have been pretty close. Um, it goes for Dragon Tail. So that's not too bad, because I've got Regenerator. Um, I don't take very much damage at all. Um, so I'm going to regenerate um, some health there, which is cool. And uh, straight to Swan here. There's not much I can do there. Like, that was sort of a... I probably should have just... It didn't really matter if I left it in before I took it out. I was sort of saving it for fodder, but it doesn't matter. Okay, interfere this again. As you can see, I regenerating. Um, kicked in nicely there. So, uh, I thought, well, I can get some damage on this thing. Um, so just some fixed damage. Uh, just with Nightshade here. I wanted to get that so I could at least break it sturdy. And I can bring something else in. I wasn't really sure that I could take it out of one shot either. 
because uh, my Swanner went down and it was really, really tough to try and take Steelix out with the rest of my folks. So I just lived the Earthquake Nick and another Nitrate off, which is great. Uh, it's about a four hit curve, so I'm going to swap out there, get my Regenerator boost again, and uh, go into Chompers because I know this thing would quite scare like Steelix out. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to take quite a bit of damage here um, myself, unfortunately, even I was actually ever light. Um, so I took quite a bit of damage there. Um, so Steelix is going to go out fearing the, uh, the Earthquake there, and uh, Rotom Pan is going to sort of come in here. Now, this part was really, really incredibly lucky. So I outspeed, which I didn't think I would, because I thought that'd be Scarfed. Um, I go for the Dragon Rush, it hits there, and I get a Fleech, which is really, really lucky. And uh, I just go for the second Dragon Rush again and finish off the Rotom Fan. Now, the reason I'm going for Dragon Rush um, is this is actually a Home Claws set. Uh, so it's pretty good, actually. You get a boosted on your attack, and um, like a boost on Dragon Rush, actually, so you pretty much never miss. It's pretty good. Uh, I just left it in to go for uh, a move and at least get a rough skin damage because uh, I didn't really have too much to sort of check that thing. Um, or I didn't really want to swap into it either. I want to save my squirrel a bit too. Okay. Um, I thought, well, let's go into pack turn here because uh, I know that I've got a Mackie ba a Banded set here and this thing hits like a truck Banded uh, rather than like a normal sword dance set that everyone runs. Okay, um, I was pretty happy there because I knew that I could take Delphox out with Psycho Punch quite easily and I knew that I could take uh, Ursaring out as well because they both had no priority. Uh, but I mean, he could keep just swapping to try and PP Storm me as well, so that was a problem. Uh, Psycho Punch doesn't have a lot of PP, so I thought, well, I'm going to save you for a bit and uh, see what happens sort of later. I still had that Steelix as a worry too, uh, that was a bit annoying there. So I just sort of sacrificed Dujin here because... I thought, well, um, I don't really need it anymore. There's not much it can really do. And I want to sort of a fresh swap in too. Uh, there. Okay, so a little bit more toxic damage on that Ursa Room. Now I thought, well, I'm going to go into um, my puzzle here. Now, um, I was thinking, uh, maybe should I go for Hidden Power or shouldn't I? Because uh, he actually didn't currently know my item at what this stage because I actually hadn't shown it. Um, but unfortunately, he's going to swap into Steelix, so I'm going to have to swap that one out because I'm actually Scarfed. Now, I thought, well, let's go into Squarely here because that's my defensive wall. I can, that's probably the best I can really sort of do. And it's going to go for Iron Tail, and that's going to hit really, really freaking hard. And I get an actual defense drop as well, so that sucks. Uh, I couldn't actually swap into anything else, so I just thought, well, the best thing I can do here is get a Wish Off and sort of help out the next Pope that actually comes in. And I'm going to have to take a hit here, unfortunately. But yeah, that's that sort of sucked, but um, uh, that's how it is sometimes. I mean, I got some luck earlier, and they got some luck. That's, that's the game. Okay, so straight into um, Cacturn here. I am going to go here straight for the Seed Bomb, Banded, and I thought that would actually be enough to take uh, Steelix out, which it was. So that was good getting rid of that thing. God damn. Okay, and I get the Wish, which is nice there, so I get a little bit of health back too. Now, so there's the, um, the Delphox left and the Ursaring. So, um, now I just swapped out because at the moment I don't think he actually realized I was banded. Um, so I just went to my uh, puzzle, sorry, mixed up. Puzzle here. Um, he actually goes for protect, trying to slow out my Psycho Punch. So he didn't realize I was banded there. Um, probably thinking I'd go for the Psycho Punch, which was um, a pretty fair assessment. I'm actually Scarf, so I went for the Thunderbolt, and that's going to be enough to take Ursa Ring out. So that was a really good um, puzzle being a nice little late game sweep there. Okay, so the last Pope left is Delphox. So I was pretty confident I had this battle left because I had Cacturn here, and I'm guessing Delphox um, just had most of the attacking moves. It may have had Calm Mind to sort of stall my uh, like Sucker Punch out, but I believe I pretty much had this battle uh, sort of won. Okay, um, I'm just going to go for another Thunderbolt here, and I get a critical hit. So I think that did actually matter. Delphox would have probably lived a little bit like, in the red there. And I'd be able to take me out, but I did have Cactus to swap in once again. I had priority, but it was a good battle, and it was it was it was sweet. It was um, good moves and good predictions used. Um, question of the day, guys. So, what Pokemon would you like me to use? To, you can leave a couple. Just leave them in the comment section. I'd like to hear them. Um, I'll try and incorporate at least one of them from someone. It doesn't. I don't know who it will be, but if you have a cool idea, leave it. Um, preferably something I haven't used before as well, and if I like trying new Pokemon out. Yeah, the more Pokemon you try, it sort of betters you at the game, and uh, it's fun. But that's about all I need to say. 
But most importantly, guys, thank you for taking the time out of your day watching my videos. Peace out.